A good Sunday morning, everyone. I thought I would give you an update on the weather. Going to be with you all weekend long, and I will be on the air today on WTAJ News 6 and 11 uh, to talk about the uh, weather pattern that we are in. All right. We talked yesterday how the uh, flood, oh, wow, just happened as we were on the air. The uh, uh, f flood watch was in effect for the entire area. You see this flashing area right here. That is a flood warning now that has been issued for pretty much all of our area near and south of Route 22. Uh, and that is until 4.30 uh, this evening. And there'll be a little bit of a, a break. On top of that, a flood warning has been issued for the Frankstown branch of the Juniata River. And that is just going to be the start of what is going to be a lot of flood warnings across our area. So let me go ahead and we're going to go and remember, if you live near a waterway, uh, we are centralpa.com. Click on weather, then go to our river information. We have charts from all of the uh, uh, region of all the rivers, and I'm going to show you uh, some of them uh, right now and uh, what to expect. Uh, the Juniata River at Huntington, uh, right now, this is the... Uh, the, the line that you see, the dashed line, is the uh, um, forecasted, and they're going to continue to uh, watch it. So right now, uh, it is at 2.85 feet. Uh, flood stage is at 12 feet, and it is forecast to crest a little bit above a flood stage, and that's not until Monday evening. See, now, the heavy rains today, the rivers probably hit the larger the river the longer it takes to flood and we are going to have uh flooding issues because of that all right here we go raystown branch of the juniata let me go ahead and shift this a little bit let me shift myself down here for these um the uh, right now uh, flood stage is at 17 feet it is forecast to get above flood stage and have minor flooding and again that's tomorrow evening when it gets above flood stage so if you are prone to flooding along the raystown branch of the juniata prepare for flooding and that does affect some roadways other rivers that are going to have some flooding uh this is also and we're almost up to the action stage where there's uh some issues the flood stage at the frankstown branch of the juniata river it, right now we're at 8.8 .8 feet and flood stage is 12 and it is forecast to have moderate flooding, getting close to major flooding in the Williamsburg area. And that, again, flooding is going to be tomorrow evening. And the Little Juniata at Spru uh, Spruce Creek, uh, a little bit ahead of schedule. Right now it's up to 3.31 feet, and the flood stage is at 8 feet. And it is forecast to get close to that major or moderate flood level excuse me moderate flood level let's take a look at the Alwood Creek Alwood Creek uh, that is in Huntington County Shirley'sburg that's prone to flooding and it will also have flooding flood stages at 10 feet we're at four feet and it will rise and again a lot of these are not going to crest until later tomorrow so flood warning again just issued uh, that was uh, before this is new the flood warning and that's for aerial. What aerial means is across wide areas for Bedford, Blair, Southern Blair, a good portion of Cambria County, and Southern Huntington County. And it's going to expand. Trust me, there's going to be more warnings. And that is in effect until 4.30. And my gut feeling is it will get extended after that for the river and waterways. This is a serious situation uh, that we have going on. So we did have rainfall. I know in uh, my house near the Duncansville area, uh, we had an inch of rainfall yesterday. We've had almost two inches now uh, since last night. Here is our satellite and radar, and you can see uh, we have had some pockets of heavier rainfall around. Uh, this is going back over the last six hours. Look at that heavy rainfall now moving toward the Indiana area. So we do have some heavier rainfall, and there's some signs of a dry slot, and I'll explain that with our future track coming up in a little bit. In fact, let me go ahead and see if I can uh, widen this scope out a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm getting slow internet here, uh, so that's going to hamper me just, just a tad. 
Um, and we, we do have some heavier rainfall. Um, let me get over uh, all the way down to the south and west. You're starting to see some breaks. Um, let me let this catch up and move through uh, toward the Morgantown area. So if that dry slot moves in, some places will get a break in the afternoon. But as for the actual, this is all moisture being stripped from what was once Hurricane Gordon. And the center of circulation, you can barely see it anymore. Uh, this is the interaction. It's the cold front that's causing as many issues as the tropical system. You take that tropical air, you move it over the cold front, and that's where we have issues. Let's go ahead and take a look at our future track. This is our future track rainfall. Uh, we're going to start this at uh, 1230 this afternoon, and it is showing rain heavy. And I've been worried about that area right near... I-99 with an easterly component of the wind and then of course the heavy rainfall in western Pennsylvania so and that's where we've had already a tremendous amount of rainfall and we continue to have more and we'll go ahead and put this forward in time and you can see uh, by later this evening things kind of taper to the south and then it shifts so Elk and Cameron counties later today you're going to pick up some. So you're going to share in some of the heavier rainfall too. And then as this system kind of moves off to the east, everyone's going to fill back in a little bit later tonight and then into tomorrow. And then we'll taper off to showers later tomorrow. Things will get better. But once it gets better, mark my words, once the rains slow down, you're not done yet because the river went rivers are going to continue to rise for a while so we have some issues here in central pennsylvania into tuesday so let's go ahead and take a look now and this is our future track rainfall and you could see the rainfall amounts again by tomorrow morning widespread on top of this is on top of what we've already had widespread another one to as much as three four inches of rainfall that is what's going to cause major flooding on a lot of waterways the showers add a little bit more for tomorrow and then we get better as we head on into tuesday and then uh with the rainfall that is the rivers will continue to rise in places and uh, the bigger the river the longer it takes to flood all right then we still have to watch out in the tropics, yes, we're still keeping an eye on another system, though my gut feeling is this one is not going to affect us as much as this past system, and that is Tropical Storm Florence. The reason why I'm giving it an attention is because it's getting a lot of internet attention, but it's not going to be, right now, it's not going to be as devastating as what this system is. It is still a tropical storm. It is moving west. It is starting to get a little bit more organized. And the National Hurricane Center for Florence shows it will become a Category 2 storm uh, later on tonight. So it's going to go through a lot of intensification here for a while. And as we go ahead and take a look, by Wednesday, the National Hurricane Center has a, it as a major Category 4 storm flirting with the coastline now it should weaken as it gets to the coastline later thursday night into early friday a lot of people focus in don't just focus in on this right here because that cone of uncertainty means it could hit here it could hit here it could hit here it could hit about all the way over here and stay off the coastline still so you, you need to look at that whole cone of uncertainty. The worst on a hurricane moving this way will be um, where, and I'm going to just use the example where that three is, but just to the northeast, that's where the worst of the winds will be on the coastal areas. We don't have to worry about the winds here. What we have to eventually worry about is if we get any more rainfall after having the devastating flooding of this time around. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we're going to show you um, more that's going on here with the system. Let me uh, go ahead and we're going to switch on over and take a look at some of the computer models that are going on uh, and, and show you what's going to be going on across the uh, region with this uh, computer model. All right, and we're going to start off first. This is the GFS model, the American model, front stall to our south. There's the heavy rainfall. As I mentioned before, and I agree, we're going to get in a little dry slot with it shifting up to the north. 
later today into early tonight and then kind of collapsing in and getting some heavier rainfall as this system moves off to the east uh, tonight into tomorrow morning and by late tomorrow we taper off to showers. The GFS, uh, I'll show you the rainfall amounts coming up in a little bit, but then we'll jump ahead and we'll take a look. And we're talking still way down the road, five days down the road. Let's see what it does with Florence. And it moves it onshore in the Carolinas and stalls out. And I agree that this system is going to be stalling out in places. As long as it stalls out down to the south, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's going to be horrendous, historic for Virginia. But this uh, scenario uh, would really protect us. Uh, we may have some remnants, but the GFS keeps it all away from us, stalls it out. If it stalls out, this storm is going to be a, a disaster uh, for parts of the Mid-Atlantic area, but not for our area if it ends up like that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the GFS rainfall. Uh, here we go. This is Sunday evening. This is additional rainfall from uh, uh, early this morning on. So some of us already fell. Uh, there's Sunday night. Here's Monday morning. Uh, and again, you're seeing a northwestern part of our viewing area is in that uh, heavier rainfall where you're in. And I'll move myself so you can see the scale a little bit better there. Um, so you're, you're seeing that some of us are still in that four or five inch rainfall areas. I think because of the uh, nature of this model, it's missing out on some of the rainfall in this area right there. So we are watching that. Let's move it forward. Uh, and, and this is accumulated through the whole time period. I also want to show you this is this would be a disaster for areas to our south. Now, most of our rainfall comes uh, with the first system. There's Florence. And yeah, you're seeing rainfall amounts there. 12 to 24 plus inches of rain across parts of Virginia. So that would be with Florence down there. Their problem will be with Florence. Ours is with this system right here. Okay, let's go ahead now. This is the European model. Uh, this was run last night. And there it goes. It also agrees. This is this afternoon or this evening. Heavier rainfall moves up in the northern part of our viewing area, kind of rebuilds to our west. We get another band tomorrow morning. And we taper off to showers tomorrow afternoon. All right. And what does it do with Gordon? I'm going to move forward in time. Let me uh, show you here. It takes Gordon, takes it into the Carolinas. Again, a little better scenario uh, for folks in South Carolina. Because remember, it's the northeast side of the storm I'm more concerned about. It moves it into North Carolina, a little farther south than the GFS. Moves it up a little bit more. Still kind of stalls it out. And breaks it apart and really not a major influence so good what i'm saying is the trends right now and it's still a long way away i'm not too concerned about florence i am concerned about the devastation we're going to have uh because we're just now starting with this system so here's the european rainfall uh we'll go ahead and move it on this is by tomorrow afternoon tomorrow evening and it is picking up a little bit better that area i was talking about near I-99, right in that area there. So it is doing a little bit better there. Uh, and a northwestern part of our viewing area in Pittsburgh getting hit very hard. The three rivers at Pittsburgh are, are going to be leaving their banks. Pittsburgh is going to have some major problems with that. All right, we'll add in the uh, rainfall from Florence. There it is across the Carolinas and Virginia. And for as bad as we have it, and again, it adds a little bit here, the European, uh, compared to the GFS. But nothing, uh, n not anything that we would have problems with the second time around. So, but a historic situation for parts of Virginia. So that is a, a bad situation there. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is the uh, uh, Weather Prediction Center. And I'll, I'll move this over so you can see the scale a little bit better here. Uh, this is computer models mixed in with human forecasters. And yes, you see, this is by Monday evening. It has a bullseye. Uh, right near the Blair Center County line of 5.37 inches of rain. Our rivers can't handle it after being in the wettest summer on record. I'll move it forward in time. And you see it doesn't really add. It adds some from the next system. But it's areas farther to the south that we're going to have much more problems. Virginia. So Florence is going to be no more for Virginia. And this front mixed with Gordon is our problem. So here's the high resolution three kilometer 
NAM. And again, this does a little better with the Aura Graphics. And you notice because of the terrain, I'll move this forward, and this is by Monday evening. It hits that area just on the east side of the mountains. I think uh, east of the divide, east of where you see that watershed area on uh, 22, east of there, Blair, Bedford, Huntington, and Center counties are going to have more of the runoff with this than farther to the west. Uh, there is a little rain shadow there across parts of Cambria and Somerset counties, but still shows a lot of the region is going to be in that four inch rainfall. So, to summarize, we are going to have heavy rainfall. It may taper in places later today down in the southern part of our viewing area, but pick up up to the north. We are, I didn't say May, we are going to have river floods. And the rivers are going to flood. The bigger the river, the longer it's going to take. But most of our rivers are going to leave their banks, I believe, later on in the day tomorrow into Tuesday. After the heavy rains, it takes a while. But it's going to move into, a, this is going to be probably close to what we had in the early 2000s uh, with the river flood situation. So go to our website, wearecentralpa.com, click weather and then rivers. And you can keep track if you live in those areas that are affected by the waterways. All right, I will be on air today and let's all be safe.